Let's go backpacking. Wow. What happened, babe? <gasps> Wow, this is so crazy right now. I'm trying to figure out the way to this hike and it's just been a debacle. The third road we've taken. The van's only made that terrible clack once. I was able to turn around every other time. This is definitely not the way. I, I crossed this river on rocks here to see and there is another road. <laughs> Check this out. This is what maps me thought we should do. Oh, whoa, what is that animal over there? Cross this stream already. Jumping from rock to rock here. Look at this. So this is like a river crossing right here. Wow, an up a crazy soft bit. Not the best way for the van. And this jump right here is actually the hardest one. So I'm gonna put the phone down. Wow, but I basically knew this couldn't be the way. There it is. Hey, there's a better way. It's super sketchy. What happened? Uh, I went across a river on some rocks. There's a river crossing you can do. I was looking to see if you were wet. Oh my God, you crazy? No, nah, unscathed. Yeah, I'm crazy though. <laughs> Let's go back to the next street. Uh, I found there is another good road over this there. This is such a mission, oh my God. Okay, so that's where I was, right there, down there. It says dangerous. It does. Bueno, yeah. <laughs> noche. queremos hacer la caminata mañana. Podemos aparcar aquí por la noche. Nice. I can't believe we found a spot. I can't believe this is working. Oh my gosh. It was so hopeless. Yeah. Just a half an hour ago. And we haven't had gas to cook for ages, honestly, because Brazil has all these laws about filling propane tanks. But we did find at the hardware store the jet boil canisters, so we're good to go backpacking. We can even eat in here. Tomorrow's gonna be a hell of a day. Really excited to show you guys. We're taking the cat backpacking again. Yeah. This cat. This will be the third country he's been backpacking in. He's already been backpacking in Colombia twice, in Peru, four days around a mountain. And now Graham gets to go backpacking here in the country of Brazil. And of course, we're bringing Sombrita the dog too. I feel like we made it. That guy was so nice. He said, you know, he'll watch the car here for uh, $4 a day, which is pretty good. Now, there's a shower and a bathroom right here. We're going to be the only people here probably during the week. We're just really stoked that everything worked out. We already got the tote out of the trunk. That's all the backpacking camping gear in there. Oh man, so we get to eat some dinner and get all packed up. days ago I was looking at our Google Maps I found a mountain that our friends our Brazilian friends who suggested some really awesome places for us in Brazil they said we should go to a mountain over here it's a backpacking trip and I love backpacking it's a perfect weather to go right now because it's hot but only slightly not as rainy we need to go out and we need to spend the night in a really cool place I kept seeing on the reviews, need a guide, you need a guide, you need a guide, but I just thought like, oh, that's just because it's hard for these people to do because they don't have a lot of experience hiking. We have a ton of experience backpacking and hiking. I'm not gonna listen to these people. We're gonna go and try and do it. We tried to find the road up to the mountain, but it ended up being the wrong road. So we go to another road and that road dead ends at a private property where there's just a dog barking at us. And I felt super uncomfortable. There's no way we can sleep there. This hike is a no-go. I'm feeling not very good about it. 
So then I went on to all trails because I knew this was a big hiking area. So I went on to all trails and I was looking for another hike nearby that we could do. And I remember seeing one on Ioverlander that some travelers did and it was just for, it seemed like it was just a day hike, but I decided I'll look for that on all trails. And whenever I found it on all trails, just come here. This is the best hike ever. It says pet friendly. It says not a lot of people on the trail. It says backpacking. People are usually backpacking on it. Big hiking sounded like the perfect trail for us told Danny about it he started looking into it further we found out that there is a even a parking for this hike that is manned by a guy Roberto <laughs> or I think it might be Roberto in Portuguese either way <laughs> really nice parking with like a shower and a bathroom like literally an hour before all of this I was sitting in the van crying because I was like I just put us on a wild goose chase I can't believe I made us do this but it turns out that there's a perfect hike right down the road. Starting this hike today, we are gonna go sleep out there. And I'm so excited to bring you guys along backpacking. It's one of my favorite things to do. Now that we know that Graham also loves it, it's just so much fun to take him outside and walk all day together, sleep in a tent together. Although I do have a wish list whenever we get back to the US that I would like a, a new, bigger tent. All of us sleeping in a two-person tent is kind of cramped. So is the size of a regular child. She's 60 pounds. So this trip is 10 miles out and back. A lot of people said it's pretty easy. It's pretty flat so far and then it should only get steep at the last three kilometers. It's funny because all morning he was like meowing at us to go outside and we're like all right buddy here's the extreme outside you're not going back in the van until tomorrow. Oh propane in the van ran out. I don't know, it's like kind of bad luck. We can't find propane for our camp stove, so we can only cook on our backpacking stove. It's just like one single burner that's kind of sketchy and really only holds like a teapot or like one pan on top, like not even a big pan, like a pretty small pan. <laughs> Since we're going to be shipping in a couple of weeks, I'm kind of like, should we even try and get our propane filled? It's illegal for the propane companies to fill our US tank. There's another spider web. Super jungle. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh, I'm going to just get a stick to hold in front of me because there's a lot of spider webs. After going to four, maybe five different stores, we finally found our isobutane propane mix canisters for our backpacking stove. It was at a hardware store in the camping section. I don't know, does Home Depot have a camping section? Found them and we got four of them so that we didn't have to get any more and have to worry about it. Uh-oh, you think you're gonna cross this river, my friend? Or you think it's a no-go? So we have some Brito on a leash because there are snakes on this trail. But when she was a baby, she got bit by a rattlesnake. You're gonna get an Uber across the river, huh, Grammy? Nice job! Grandma's watching you carefully. Boy! to connect it to my waist belt so I could. You're so impatient. Thank you. So that I could use my stick to get rid of all the spiders ahead of me. There he is! There's a good boy! You're so handsome, Grammy. Hiking with a cat is definitely not for speed demons. He's more like one of those hikers that walks as quiet as he can to try and hear the birds and everything. Oh, Graham found the sandbox! <laughs> what do you think, Graham? You want a break? <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> We're using Maps Me to keep track of the trail. Maps Me is awesome because it works offline, it's free, and you can really easily see when you rotate your phone uh, which direction you're pointing on the map. Super helps because GPS can be a little off. But yeah, we're just trying to figure out up here. It looks like the trail branches off and both branches meet back up. It's just nice to know where we're going out here. Helps you feel a lot more confident. So what do you think? Which way looks better? This way. Okay, fingers crossed. I think Graham's trying to get out again. He needs to help. Okay. Ah, oh, break time. 
pretty crazy backpacking with two animals, huh, Emily? Especially when one of them you, you kind of have to carry like 50% of the time. Yeah, I feel like it's like we're taking turns with them. Like sometimes I'll be walking with Graham or sometimes I'll be walking with Samrita. Yeah. That last stretch, we were like all together though. Four life forms and four feet. As usual, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We just walked all the way out here into the jungle and all of a sudden there's a bunch of steps. What's going on? Oh yeah, I read that these are actually, like this trail was frequented by the Portuguese Jesuits whenever they came and settled it over 200 years ago. Ven aquí, sube, detrás. I think these must be the steps, unless there's more steps, then those are probably the steps. Wow, there's like a little hole in this stream that water is just going into. But it's a beautiful little waterfall. I love waterfalls like this, the tiny ones. Wow, this is the real Brazil. Well, the reason I'm going first and not Sabrita is because there are snakes on the trail and she once got bit by a rattlesnake. I don't know, we don't really know what happened. I think she probably tried to sniff it, bit her right on her little nose. We made a video about it. It's actually, I think our first or second video. And we ended up having to take her to the dog hospital and it was like super hard to find someone with anti-venom and was willing to help us, but we did find him. He ended up being super cool, came camping with us the next weekend. Is her, these vines look like snakes sometimes. So I'm like being hyper vigilant and making sure that there's nothing on there that is going to hurt us because there are some non venomous snakes, but there are some de dangerous snakes here too. So we did take her off the leash, but she's got to stay behind me. We're not letting her go into the jungle at all. Little guy. Hey, little guy. He's being so good. Go. I can't believe he's like nine years old now. Oh, this trail is just so beautiful. Man, I just, I'm so happy we found this one because there's nobody on it. We're just walking through beautiful jungle all by ourselves over little waterfalls, more stones that we're walking over. Hey, 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 sube, sube. Oh my goodness. Let's take off your backpack before you go in the water. Get the... What do you think, buddy? You see the way? <laughs> he took it off and then she just went around. Yeah. <laughs> I think Sabrita just tricked me into carrying her backpack. All right, Graham, I can help you pass this water. Is that what you need, my guy? There you go, buddy. The spiders are so crazy here. I feel like I'm casting a spell trying to get the spider webs out of the way. But every time I walk through a little plant, there's like another spider web on my shoulder and it's honestly terrible. <laughs> can you call Graham? Let's go, my boy. This cat is exceptional. He just rolls over the train. <laughs> so crazy that he used to be a house cat before the van. He never would go outside. And now look at this guy, our own little jaguar. the first camp spot we've come across edged into the jungle here pretty nice it says waterfall that way yeah but we're gonna make it farther tonight right but we'll but we'll chill yeah we'll just take a break look at that is that heavy um no it's not that bad oh way to take it off with a cat in it <laughs> <laughs> he's like what's going on what do you think Graham? let's take a break sombrita descanso ah that's cute how you and Graham have your own little yoga mats <laughs> Wow, everybody's chilling. Sombrita has got a lot of energy. You ready to go, Grammy? Okay, Graham, go get her. Let's go, buddy. Good boy. Well, so there's a rope, but Sombrita doesn't need the rope. <laughs> We're already halfway up it. Okay? Wanna... Yeah, it's getting like crazy steep now. Yeah, it's getting super duper steep.
Oh, oh my god, I almost fell. It's getting super duper steep. Another rope. Yeah, so, but at least there's little steps. I might have to ditch the spider stick though. It's no big deal for a four wheel drive cat and dog. It's really better with the rope, honestly. Uh -huh. Check on Graham. Let's see if he'll go. Grammy. You think you can do it? Come on, buddy. Come on up. Come on up here. Wow. Oh, he's so good. Danny, I think I found your um, wiggling. What the heck is going on with that? Touch it. This is really steep. We got to a super steep part and it is getting warm. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating so bad. Graham's out of the bag. Doing pretty good. I think he's getting tired. We know that this last bit is just straight up. So <laughs> nice to see the jungle lit up though. It's so dark down there. Wow, it is so thick and seemingly unending. Oh, I can see the sun a little bit. We've just been walking up this hill for so long and it just feels like, oh, we're almost there, we're almost there, we're almost there. And, but we're not. Oh, it's just crazy. I guess at least we're not bringing up these rocks <laughs> like they did 200 years ago. Oh my gosh, I've got little left right now. I'm trying to get up. <laughs> oh my god. No, I don't think she can make it up here, babe. Yeah, there you go. You step on the rung. Oh, oh my god. Wow, it is beautiful. Yeah, and I guess we're trying to get up there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Your smile will be my ray of sunshine. Wow. We are stopping here for the night we've decided. It is not the top of the mountain. The top of the mountain's over there, but honestly, we're both pretty tired. That was really hard. Even like the starting part was so much farther than I thought. Yeah. And then all of a sudden we got to the hard part. I think that our mapping doesn't really count if you're going like uphill. It doesn't count that as forward progress. So it said we were like 800 feet away from this spot for like... It must have been 15 minutes and I was like, how are we still only 800 feet away? Because we we're just going straight up like these steps. Yeah, it's just pretty funny. I think maybe we should download that other hiking app. My grandma must have walked five miles. <laughs> yeah, we've made it to our camp and now we're going to set up the tent. Get it. It looks like there's a really nice level spot right here. So that's perfect. Graham's loving the tent, huh? Grammy. Yeah, let's go. There's some water. Okay, tent. Big up. Emily! Let's go! Water time. I can already hear the water. <laughs> it's pretty close. In the little cave, there's this nice little spring. You really thinking going up the hill now? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Just glad that there's actually water, like Maps on me said. Otherwise, yeah. I had a whole liter left. Wow, I think that was the best water capture I've ever gotten. <laughs> Fall in, water team. It's dinner time. Back to camp. Okay, Graham. Back to camp, buddy. Oh, oh good. Monkeys didn't mess with it. No, no, nothing. Graham's like, let me back in there. I'm going to join you in one moment, sir. Oh, no, you guys. There's like a crazy mouse thing. And now we were about to cook dinner. And we're like in limbo about what to do. Where do we cook? What do we do with this rodent here? So Emily's gonna prepare the food in there. I'll boil the water out there. So I think we're gonna put all our food in there, hang it from the tree later. I'll be the rat guard out here. I don't think it's a rat, but uh, I'll try to show you guys what it looks like. Doesn't help that we are super hungry. Okay, um, he's right here. What do you think that is? Okay, I'll let him tripping me out. He's got that white tail there. <gasps> Sorry. I just hate how he pops up over here and then he pops up over there. Oh man, I've never like really seen like mice or rats while I'm backpacking. It just catches you off guard because all of a sudden you look there and he's just like looking at you. Wow. I can't wait to get in that tent. Be <laughs> all safe from this thing. Bark at him. I'm a good barker, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely like, what is all that plastic sound? You ain't getting our food, bro. I've backpacked a lot, but I've never really dealt with this. 
There he is. Should I throw the water at him? Yeah. Man, he's too close. That scared him. He ran away. I'll pass you this. Gears is ready. Ooh, thanks, Emily. Welcome. Welcome inside the tent. Got my stuff cooking right now. It's just rehydrating stuff, so all we really need is hot water for it to cook up. And then over here, we've got sweet little boy sleeping on the sleeping bag and sombrita as well not on her bed sombrita there you go sombrita muy bien i'm going to have yakisoba noodles with some dehydrated um sauce texturized vegetable protein and dehydrated mushrooms and a little bit of dehydrated spinach danny had a ramen with his ramen packet i think it was bacon flavored he also has a lot of nori tvp the texturized vegetable protein last time we tried to get dehydrated mushrooms they were full mushrooms and it really did not work out at all. So we found these sliced ones and yes, Danny said it's working. So, oh man, he went back. Oh, there he is. Get out of here. Now that I'm eating, it's just not good to be seeing this thing. And he's going that way. Oh, I don't want to wash my back. But honestly, it's too bad that he's been getting people's food. Maybe some people even fed him, you know, because that's why he's so annoying. Wow, I was honestly like tripping out, like looking, <laughs> looking around constantly. So now we're just eating back to back. But look at these animals here. Ah. But they're like, oh, what's going on? They're both at the gate here. So Emily's taking the dishes to go rinse them far away so we don't track that animal anymore. And we're going to have to hang up this food bag. Maybe have a little snack first since it's only like 6.30 or something. It gets dark so quick right now. Oh, so close. You know, you should put it farther away from your tent if you're in bear country. But since there's not really any crazy animals out here, we're not really worried about it. And also, we normally wouldn't eat inside the tent if it was bear country. And we shouldn't have eaten in near the tent because even though it's not, there's still like the little rat thing. <laughs> Oh, sorry, babe. I should have been paying attention. Hey, that's <laughs> not important. What's important? Good work. Good work. Thanks. How I got that thing over was I clipped the carabiner onto this water bag that we got on the Antarctica trip. These things are so fun to throw. <laughs> and first try with that thing. <laughs> A little bit of Oreos and we're putting all the food up in the tree, getting in the tent. Here's your vegan treat. Oh, thank you so much. Oreos makes the day so much better. So we put in all of the stuff that could potentially smell. Sunscreen, bug spray, chapstick, dog and cat food, even toothpaste. Hopefully that keeps the rat thing from annoying us tonight. That should be good right there. Wait, not too high. Like there? A little bit down if you can. Like there? Yeah, because that's like pretty far from the tree, you know? Pretty far off the ground. Up through there, over here, and use the carabiner that's on the end for the dog leash. Yeah. Put it around that one and carabiner it. Nice, babe. So now we can be comfy? <laughs> what happened, babe? A really big spider, you said? <sighs> yeah. Oh, fuck! It was like coming at us, I thought, for a second. I saw a bigger spider than that when I went to pee. No, I'm just... I mean, even if we packed up and went to the van, we'd have to get past the spider. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look for the rat while you deal with the spider. <laughs> okay, let's just burn the backpacks. <laughs> Where it is now. Okay, I think I flung it that way. <laughs> you are so scared. Run away. Come back, we kill you. <laughs> so usually we leave the bags like on the outside of the tent, but inside of the rain fly here, the vestibule, if you will. Welcome to the tent. Look at the baby. She's so sleepy. Oh, somebody that wrapped up in her sleeping bag. Grammy, chilling on my sleeping bag. We are safe from any bugs. Sealed. Sealed, sealed, sealed. All right, well, let's get comfy, huh? Yeah, let's watch some <laughs> Voyager. We're so we, close to each other. We got other. some Star Trek <laughs> on the phone to watch here. Oh my gosh, oh, if you thought that the van was small, wait until you see the four of us in this two-person tent. Where's Grammy? Where is he? Over right here. It's honestly too hot for sleeping bags right now, but I have a feeling it's gonna get pretty cold tonight. But for right now, I'm just in my sleeping bag liner, which is super cozy. And Grammy's sleeping on top of my sleeping bag, like it's <laughs> like it's a pet bed. Oh man! So it's raining pretty hard, and this is just all water underneath of us. But luckily the 
under the bottom of the tent head is continuing to be waterproof so far but right here is not there's one drip that drips on danny's head yeah which broke is, just in alaska and we repaired it but there was like a little river coming down like right to the tent which was ridiculous uh, both of our bags were in that little river <laughs> my backpack is waterproof so i'm not too concerned about it i'll just have to hang it up in the morning and wipe it down just dripping right on my face there and i thought oh no this has been pretty crazy backpacking trip like yeah Waking up here, everything is pretty wet. <sighs> but that was hard to sleep. Good morning, buddy. We're all out of the tent now. Backpacks got super wet and muddy. It's kind of embarrassing. We still woke up late. Graham's backpack, I think, is the worst. It's super muddy, but we have wipes and, and stuff to dry it off. And then this food bag, pretty good, a little wet. Yeah, Danny was constantly trying to get the little bots to stop leaking. Hard. I've had this tent for so long though. All the way from Alaska down here. Danny traveled in this tent for seven months, putting it up every day, you know, traveling the USA. Oh man, this has been a really hard day. Waking up in a wet tent, trying to make breakfast while it's raining, putting away a wet tent, and then starting down on some crazy wet stones slippery 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 stairs and when it wasn't stone stairs it was slippery red mud which i did fall because yeah it every step is about like the height of one of my legs kind of upset with this backpacking trip thought it was gonna be a fun trip but walking up a mountain that's without switchbacks every step is just straight up not as fun for me <laughs> it was really hard this morning so wet my feet are soaked a lot of things went wrong. <laughs> it's not the best backpacking trip I've ever gone on. Considering how many trips we've gone on that were so much harder than this. 10 miles a day and you also had to walk uphill. But maybe it was just because this one, they didn't really make it so that it's easy to walk uphill. Jungle is hard. <laughs> I think I've just always had this adrenaline the whole time because I'm afraid of snakes or a monkey or a rat looking thing. Getting to us. We just took a break in the clearing, gave Graham and Sombrita some water. Danny took Sombrita down to the waterfall so that he grabbed some water for us that he filtered. And I'm really appreciative of, kind of sad about the hike that I picked that didn't really end up being that fun. The jungle's just so hard to live in. <laughs> and ready to get back to the van. I'm going to find a better <laughs> backpacking trip somewhere and I will rekindle my love for it. <laughs> Just right now feeling a little defeated. Let's get back to the van. <laughs> How about this buddy? You got full 360 views. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we made it. And there's the first shot of the van. Well, that was probably the hardest trail we've ever done. But the important thing is that we had fun. So we've been drying out all of our stuff all day today, just in the sun. And now we're putting everything away, putting everything in laundry bags. And we're gonna head out of this spot and go to the next. And that's where we'll see you guys next time. So make sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell so you never miss a video. If you wanna support us a little bit more, head over to our Patreon. See ya.